Before you install spark plug wires, your engine must be set to the initial timing setting recommended by the manufacturer. We'll use a simple method to set our engine to an approximate initial setting of 10 degrees. If you have one of these top dead center whistles, you can screw it into the number one spark plug hole. Otherwise, you want to plug up the number one hole with your thumb and rotate the engine by hand. If the timing mark passes by and you don't feel or hear the air coming out, that means you just passed the exhaust stroke and you need to keep rotating. When you feel air rushing past your thumb or you hear it through the whistle, take a look at the timing mark on the balancer. Move the crank very slowly and when the timing marks on the balancer and timing cover line up and read 10 degrees or whatever your initial timing is supposed to be, stop turning. Right now, your engine is paused at the exact moment in time where it's going to fire a spark from the distributor to the number one spark plug. Now we need to install our distributor cap. The cap will only fit on the distributor one way, and when it's on, the body of the distributor can still move left or right to make the sparks happen sooner or later as the engine is running. Since we're at the point of ignition for the number one plug, we want to line up one of the cap towers with the rotor tip. With the cap off, hold some type of pointer against the engine and point it directly at the rotor tip. Lower the cap in place and then line up one of the spark towers on the cap, doesn't matter which one, with the pointer by rotating it left or right. Whichever tower has the rotor lining up with it is going to need a label. This tower is now going to hold the number one plug wire and is going to be the starting point for the firing order sequence. Don't let the distributor move from here on out. Tighten the hold down clamp so that the distributor body is locked in place and then tighten down the cap on the distributor. This is a good time to pop in your spark plugs so we have something to plug the wires into. Check your engine specs for the plug gap rating and heat range. Don't forget to use a little bit of anti-seize lubricant on the threads and torque them to whatever your engine specs say. Okay, we're looking good. The crank is positioned and the distributor rotor is parked at the moment of ignition for the number one cylinder. Now take a look at your firing order. Every firing order for every engine type starts with a number one and then the rest of the numbers in the sequence will follow the valve opening events of the camshaft. Your engine absolutely has to match this sequence or it's not going to run. You might have seen a diagram for your plug wires in your repair manual. These diagrams are just a representation and you don't have to follow them exactly. To correctly wire any distributor, all you need is three pieces of information. You'll need to know your cylinder numbering, the direction that your distributor rotates, and your engine's firing order. We already have the rotor inside the distributor set in place. Now, the firing order, as you read it from left to right, needs to happen in the same direction of rotation that your distributor turns. For example, on a lot of engines, including this one, the firing order starts with 1843, and the distributor rotates clockwise. On some other motors, the firing order could start with 1372 and the distributor might rotate counterclockwise. Whatever your engine specs say, this is how you'll know which way to wire up your distributor. The first one is easy. Right now we're at the moment of spark for number one, so we connect the wire from the tower with the mark on it to the number one spark plug, and every time the rotor hits that point while it's spinning, then the spark will go to the number one cylinder as the engine runs. This distributor rotates clockwise and the next number in the firing order is eight. So the next tower in the clockwise direction gets connected to the number eight spark plug. Continue on through your specific firing order and do your best to try and judge the lengths of the wires as you go so that you don't have too much or not enough slack when you get to the last couple. This type of distributor has an ignition coil built right into the cap. Some engines have separate ignition coils. When you're all set, double check the order of the wires. Plug wiring mistakes are one of the most common causes of startup problems for new rebuilds. It's really easy to cross a wire or two if you're not paying attention, so take your time and check them over again and make sure that you're sure. When it all checks out, you can organize the wires a little with some kind of wire separators or maybe some...